I'm Mr. Grindler, and here are my creatures. What's up guys and welcome back and if you're new here then welcome but on today's episode on Mr. Grindler's Creatures we are doing a Pamphobetius Platyoma Pamphobetius Platyoma Pear Rehouse but before we do that I just want to show the room quickly so if I turn this around oh my god don't zoom in let me just change the lights quick let me change the lights okay so I've changed the lights quickly but I just want to show you guys so after many many months and i mean many many months guys you know how many months it's been i finally got the lights back up so they are pretty bright at the minute they're not probably the best put up but everything looks absolutely stunning again you can now see all the teas absolutely mental i don't know why i haven't put them up before or put them back up i even got this little log look Look how beautiful that little log looks. A bit of moss on that log. Hello moss. So this was covered in ants and I had to wash it out and oh, it was dreadful. It was going on for about a month. So luckily it weren't in the room. But that is the only shelving unit there without any lights at the minute. And that is one that I need to get some more lights for. But I think it looks pretty good to be quite honest. And then I've got the next bath tank. Look at them, absolutely stunning. So guys, if you didn't see my post on Facebook yesterday with all the baths, I'm gonna chuck it in now because it was absolutely insane. But they were just all out last night, literally all of them. Anyway guys, I'm gonna go. All my baths just seem to be out tonight. Just all of them. Look at that. Just tons of them. Absolutely tons of them. Oh, and this is going to turn into my communal of 10 as well. I know it's just a pile of dirt at the minute, but I'm moving my 10 into this. I've also got a wild caught keeper card. Very nice living under this little court bark here. But anyway guys, I'm going to go sit back down in the chair and then we're going to have a little talk about this Pamphobetius Platyoma pair and then we're going to crack on with the rehouse. Right guys, so I'm back down on the chair now, but yeah, the, the lights are all back up now and I'm, I'm quite happy with them. Obviously they're not put up very well because uh, I was very limited with what I had to put them up. But at the end of the day, the lights are up. I've now got the green back, I can change it to the white or the red. I normally have it on red for the majority of the day when I'm recording, I normally have it on green. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm, I'm so happy because now I can actually see in all the tanks without having to have a light, so that is great. But on today's episode, guys, we are doing a Pamphobetius pear rehouse, and I've already recorded this rehouse, and it is probably about a week later now, so I'm going to chuck up some feeding footage at the end of it, which I'm about to record in a minute but anyway guys let's get down to this table let's have a look at this pamphobetus pear my first ever pear so i'm literally like oh I'm, I'm so excited about it. um my first ever pamphobetus it's, it's crazy and they are absolutely stunning but anyway guys i'm going to keep rambling on so let's get down to that table and let's have a look thank you guys peace 
Okay, so we have the box from So Many Legs just here. And I'm very, very excited. Like I've said, this is my first ever Panther BES pair and it is a platyoma so i think they're about five to seven centimeters so they've still got a lot of growing to do but this i'm just i'm so excited for this so let's have a look let's open this box up Okay, so we've got the platyoma here, and then we've got another platyoma just here as well. So that is the female, and then we've got the male just here. I'm so excited for this. So the tanks that I'm going to be putting them in, there's one just there, another just here. That's for both of them. Hopefully, it's, it's going to be all right for them. So if we uh we get one of the tanks now. Give me two seconds, guys. Okay, so we're going to start with the female first. I'm so excited for this. I'm not too keen on these lids, if I'm honest. Oh, 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 fuck me! Oh, I thought I thought it wasn't alive for a second then because it just wasn't moving. Um, yeah, it's got some, it's got some feet sticking out now. Okay, so I've managed to take a bit of tissue off. Let's see if we can get her out now. Currently upside down, which probably doesn't help. You can see her just there. She looks stunning so far. But she does not want to let go of that tissue. She is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. What a stunning girl. Look at that carapace. Absolutely beautiful guys, I'm really happy with that. Really happy, let me get some shots. Okay, so in this tank I've obviously got a Buddha. I've used uh, topsoil as well. A bit of a moss, or a bit of moss. I love doing my carpet of moss and then I've made it a little starter burrow as well. But she is absolutely stunning. So let's have a look at the male this time. If I put the lid on this girl. I really thought she'd be a bit more, you know, feisty with things, but obviously not. Yeah, look, she's, she's got down there. Look at that, absolutely stunning. 100%. Right, let's just put this lid on. <laughs> so it's the same with this tank. I've used moss, I've got a little bit of a hide. And there's also a little hidden Buddha just there. <laughs> so, if we move this one down, I'd say probably about there. Oh, 
Well, I'm really looking forward to this. So, let's have a look at the mail this time. So, the Panther BES SP Platyoma mail. Like I said, gently touching. I'm not actually touching it. There we are. Absolutely stunning. You can't take this tissue off her. Off him, sorry. Keep calling it a him. That's it, boy. That's it. Look at that. The carapace on that guys is absolutely stunning. Um, oh, I'm in shock. I'm in absolute shock. This is beautiful. My first ever Panfo power. I'm so, I'm so happy. I'm so excited. It's, yeah, like, whoa. Get in. Look at that. So the male is a lot smaller than the female, which is absolutely great. Um, a lot of people have worries about obviously getting breeding pairs because sometimes they're the same size and obviously the male is going to grow quicker than the female. When the males are a bit smaller, still doesn't mean that they they, they still may mature quite quick, uh, quicker than a female. Uh, obviously, as we all know, males do generally mature out quicker than a female. But anyway, guys, let's go back because... Well, I'm going to try and get some nice shots of these. Uh, hopefully add it in after this for you guys to watch. But thank you very much for experiencing my first ever Panther B ES pair. And I'm so excited about this. Just, oh, he is stunning. So is she. So, right guys, let's go back. Okay, so if we start with the female first. Oh, she's a bit bulky. Okay. Let's have a little look down there and just turn the ISO up a little bit. Absolutely stunning. Look at her. Alright, let's try and get some uh, some good feeding footage. Let me just turn the light on quick. I think that's perfect, don't you? Look at that. Okay, so Pamphobetius platyoma female, and just look at that carapace, that marking on it. So, I'm thinking, let's do a little slow-mo shot of this one. Okay, so that was probably one of the worst ever um, little takedowns I've ever tried to do in my life, to be quite honest. <laughs> um, yeah. Don't know, let me try. Let me try with this. You got Doobia just there. But I'm not sure if it's going to go for another one, if I'm quite honest. It's not really doing anything at the minute. Okay, so I think that was an epic fail. Let's move on to the next. Okay, so this one was a fail. If we try the male next. Not sure where he is at the minute. Always a good sign. The male is currently inside just there, so we're going to try and lure him out. I might try and do this in slow mo as well, but I want to try and capture all of it this time, so maybe leave it there.
Okay, so I ended up going for my tweezers there instead. No, I don't go in. Oh, this has been an epic fail. <laughs> it's gone in. Okay, so both both feeds were an epic fail this time. Oh, are you coming back out? I feel like he's coming back out. Oh. Oh, I don't know if I got that on camera. I don't know if my tweezers are in the way. All right, we got one little successful takedown. I want to get him out. I wanted to see him out. Come out, boy. He's wiggling his bum a little bit. He's thinking about. Okay, so that was the Pamphobius Platyoma pair, and yeah, all right, the takedowns wasn't great. Um, I think. I haven't really, really watched it back yet, but I think I, I missed pretty much all of them. If I didn't, then that's great. But we'll, we'll see how it goes, guys. But yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, Pamphobius, I'm, I'm honestly amazed. I've been after a Pamphobius for, for months now. For months. I keep going all about it in the uh, Raggy's admin chat. Like, oh, people look out for these uh, Pamphobius, blah, blah, blah. So today is Wednesday, and I'm currently quarter of the way through my two weeks holiday. And I must say... I've got so much done since I've uh, been off at the minute. Obviously, I've been doing the room a bit. There's still a lot more that needs doing in there. But most of all, I've managed to get a lot of recording and the editing done so I can push myself ahead, which is what I needed after my whole deletion spree. So that is great news as well. So thank you for watching, guys. If you could like the video, that would be great. If you could share it as well, that would be even better. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you're notified of when I upload next. And don't forget, guys, I do have a membership now. So if you want to join, there is a join button down below and it helps me out a lot. So thank you very much, guys. Mr. Grinland's done it. So are my creatures. I'm now going to try and edit this so it comes out today. Peace, guys.